Hello, Lever Fanatics. Today, I have an embarrassing question to ask you, and that is, does your coffee have too much gas? Now, wait a minute. Before you jump to conclusions, let me explain myself. I recently got this uh, coffee. It's, called, it's from Barefoot Roasters in Santa Clara, California, and it's very highly rated. It's called the Boss Espresso, and it has notes of caramel and brown sugar, and it was freshly roasted when I got it. Well, I was so excited to try it. I measured it out, pulled the shot, and the first thing I thought was, wow, this is seriously bitter and sour coffee. And if you've been following my channel, you know that I'm, I'm okay with bitter, but sour, I just can't, I can't take a lot of sour. So I actually thought, well, maybe this just isn't the right coffee for me. So I put it in the cabinet, kind of forgot about it for uh, a, about a week or two. And then I thought, you know, I should probably give it a second chance. Took it out, made some coffee, and it was so much better. And that's when I realized, of course, I had made the coffee too quickly, too soon after it was roasted, and I got a lot of those sour notes. Now, some people like the sour notes, so for them, you would wanna make it as soon as possible after being roasted, or as soon as, as you, could, you could purchase it. Um, but for me, because of the, the, the type of coffee that I like, it just was too sour. But I found that by letting it rest uh, about a week, week and a half, it just actually got better. So kind of like a, like a fine wine, although you don't have to wait years for it. So let's make a little bit of this Barefoot The Boss Espresso. And um, let me show you what it, what it looks like. This is a great bean. Um, whoops, I poured way too much. So we're gonna do 14 grams of coffee in. And with my Lever Espresso machine, I tend to pull kind of longer shots. Um, which I, I also prefer. Um, that also cuts down on the bitterness and the, um, the sourness. All right, grinding it in the niche fairly fine uh, at about a 13, which I hate to say the numbers because everyone's machine is calibrated differently. So um, your 13 may not be my 13, but uh, at least for what I've been doing, I found 13 is, is pretty good. Now, we're gonna let this grind, give it a few taps. Okay, and of course, good distribution. I have found if I skip the distribution step, my shots have a 50% chance of failing, at least in having a good flavor. Oh, look at that, looks pretty good. Smooth it out a little bit. Tamp it down. Again, I'm using quite a bit of pressure. I find with these small pucks, um, you do need to compress a lot to prevent channeling. And let's get a clear glass so we can see the results. Now, if you've seen some of my other videos, you know I like to pre-infuse for about uh, 10 seconds till I see some drips, and then two sort of half presses or Fellini pools, followed by two two full pulls, and that usually gives me a great shot. Let me try to back this up a little bit so you can see the, uh, the lever action. All right, so I'm gonna lock it in as I close this. And let's check the time. We're gonna go for about 10 seconds. Oh, there, getting some drips, which is perfect. Don't actually like to see a lot of coffee coming out at this point. Two half presses. And then I'm gonna release for the first pull. I love these spring machines. These are great, very consistent. And you can see that crema coming out. All right, and here's another one. Right, let's get a little close up there. There we go. Now it's starting to turn really blonde, so I'm gonna switch this out in just about 45 seconds, so minus the 10 seconds of pre-infusion, so about a 35 second shot. And you can see, beautiful color, lots of crema, really nice and dark. And again, does not have a sour taste. Bitter, I can do, sour, I can't. Let's give this a little quick taste. Ah, oh, that is great. It still has a slightly bright finish to it, which I think you can't avoid with this coffee, but 
at this level of brightness, which is very, very mild, and it comes just at the end, totally fine with it. It's a great, great uh, cup of a shot of espresso, and I really like it. So anyway, I uh, hope you guys have been having fun making espresso however you choose, although I hope you choose a lever espresso machine. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to write those below. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And of course, always remember, the best espresso is the one that you pull.